Hello, thank you for joining me. Today we're going to learn how to do a bar plot with Seaborn. Okay, so we've imported, so we import Seaborn. Seaborn. SNS. Right, so this is our alias for Seaborn. We're going to go Seaborn, SNS dot bar plot. Important syntax in Seaborn is data equals df. You don't have to do this for every single function, but it's good to do this just in case, because you need it for most of those things. So you can do that, just doing that, it automatically takes the average of each column of the numeric column, so mass score, reading score, writing score in this data set. In the next one, we can set palette equal to colorblind, there's bright, there's a few different ones. We can also change this error bar to standard deviation. It's normally a 5% confidence interval, so using bootstrap resampling, how often is the average, what, what is the variation of the average? So you can see it's very small. The standard deviation though is quite large in the data set. You can change the orientation using H to be horizontal and setting the confidence interval to 90 instead of 95 or standard deviation. Let's go to this next one, this is kind of important. So mass score is our y-axis, our value on our y-axis. Well, we didn't give it x and y before. It took the averages of the numeric columns, but here we're setting y equals to mass score and x equal to a category column, gender, right? So we're putting one axis equals to a numeric column and one axis equals to an object. This gender is two, then we can do a larger one where there's uh, four. If we do this, we start to get a lot of labels and stuff. So we can go plt.x6 rotate equals 50%. So changing that and then just printing out the plot uh, plt.show. Okay, and so here's just an important concept. You can do a continuous on one axis and a category on another axis with Seaborn and it automatically groups by that category. It's a really handy feature and you can do a lot of interesting things. Very similar to the hue argument uh, that we'll see in later plots. Thank you so much for joining me.